The Vocaloid voice banks are built from voice samples from real singers, and this has allowed the Vocaloids to create songs that could potentially fool the uninitiated into believing they were sung by a person instead of a computer. All Vocaloids have their voice samples edited to a degree, but the less the voice is manipulated, the more realistic it sounds. Modified voices aren't necessarily bad, of course. Miku is obvious proof of that. But there is one common downside shared by all of the Vocaloids because they use voice samples. If you want a Vocaloid to make a sound that its voice banks don't contain, you're pretty much out of luck. You can do a Dr. Frankenstein and try to create the sound you want out of the available sounds, chopping and editing them, but the results may not be worth the effort. Besides, if you edit a voice too much, it stops sounding human at all, and at that point, why rely on voice samples in the first place? What I'm getting at here is that the Vocaloids are designed to sing, not to speak. This is hardly a problem when you're making music, although the ability to speak would be a neat addition. But much of the reason the Vocaloids have done so well is because their representative characters allow their fans to form emotional bonds with them. So it's natural for their fans to want to express their affection for them in many different ways. One of these ways is the MMD drama style of videos, in which the characters act out various scenes animated through 3D programs. While the people animating the characters for these videos can work very hard to make the animation smooth and natural, the fact that the Vocaloid's voice banks don't have speech phonemes available means that they will always sound very odd when speaking. Making the Vocaloid's talk is cumbersome, and you'll never really be happy with the outcome. But, if you'll recall, there actually is a Vocaloid who can use a speaking voice perfectly well, the lovely Yukari. She was the first Vocaloid to also include a speaking voice bank, compatible with the software Voiceroid, which is the subject of today's video. The Voiceroids in general are not very popular, and there are a few reasons for that, but it is a growing technology and it is definitely Vocaloid related, even more so than you might currently think with Yukari here. Gachapoid was the first Vocaloid to have its voice banks utilized specifically to work with speech synthesis, using programs called Vocaloid Flex and VTalk. The only other Vocaloids that worked with them at the time of his release were unreleased beta voice banks. But Vocaloid Flex simply offered greater manipulation of phonemes. Gachapoid still only had one regular singing voice bank, which wasn't designed with speaking in mind. As a result, Vocaloid Flex became mostly obsolete with the introduction of the Vocaloid 3 engine, which also offered greater control over voice output than the Vocaloid 2 engine, from which Vocaloid Flex was based. While the Vocaloid engine itself is very flexible and powerful, speech synthesis required a program built from the ground up with its needs in mind, and that program would not come from Yamaha. The original Voiceroid program was released in December 2009 by AH Software, the company which has released Vocaloids such as Miki, Iroha, and Yukari. Voiceroid is the name of the software, spelled with an R, I assume, to differentiate it from Vocaloid, and Voiceroids are what the characters are called. The original program released with a pair of voice banks made up of young siblings, Sukuyomi Shota and Ai. Both of their voice providers were elementary school children, so they have very soft, child voices. Like the Vocaloid Kai Yuki, they were designed to appeal to children, so they were not intended to be used for media for grown-ups, and their software were actually censor unsavory words. This is because Voiceroid isn't operated the same way Vocaloid is. Voiceroid is a text-to-speech tool. You type the text you want the character to say, and you can adjust the pitch of the voice and a few other variables, but it doesn't give you control over every phoneme the way Vocaloid does. ゴミがくしゃくしゃになるまで頭を撫でてくれました。愛は背中にサインしてもらったんだよ。それって幼稚園の制服じゃ。そんなことより明日のランキングは発表するないだよね。べ。
別にあんたのことなんか全然好きじゃないんだからね。ただ、あんたがあんまりにも暇そうにしてたから、わざわざ付き合ってあげてるのよ。あんたが、どうしてもっていうのなら、明日も一緒にいてあげてもいいわ。あ、あんたのこと。Because the voice roids are only designed for speaking, and because their voice banks only contain Japanese sounds, they have a very limited appeal for non Japanese Vocaloid fans. But some folks have taken the time to create Utau voice banks using the output from these voice roids to enable them to sing songs, and they do a Decent job considering their vocal limitations. The Voiceroid software itself is incapable of singing, so the users who do this must create each phoneme in each pitch by hand and add them to an Utau database to create songs with them. This is more time consuming than it is difficult, but it's more for a proof of concept than it is a serious tool for making music. <laughs> The current version of the Voiceroid program, known as Voiceroid Plus, released in October 2010 with a new voice bank, Yoshida kun. As you might surmise from the strange looking character, Yoshida kun is not an original character but was taken from an existing show, a flash animated internet comedy known as Eagle Talon. Yoshida kun is one of the main characters of this show. While Yoshida kun does have an older and deeper voice than Shota, He is still a voice roid aimed at children, so he also includes censorship in his program. Being from a popular show, he was the first voice roid to have merchandising, and he remains the only male voice roid plus voice bank. ぜんりゃく、母さん元気ですか島根でも発売されるこのソフトについて説明したいと思いますこのソフトは仕込むだけで文字を喋るのです初回限定版にはお面がついてお得です。しかもプラモ風懐かしパッケージになっており買わざる
Jam Band had young girl characters to represent a fictional band, and Maki was the lead guitarist. For whatever reason, AH Software decided to turn her into a voice roid. She has a pleasing young woman's voice, and she lacks the censorship found in previous voice roid products. ボイスロイド。ボイスロイドプラスミーヤスともえは声優ミーヤスともえの声を元に制作した入力文字読み上げソフトです。あなたのお好みの文章や言葉をテキストで入力するだけで簡単に読み上げさせることができます。株式会社
アイアルグナイスレツラエスケノエスイステンイアルグナイス In March of 2011, a magnitude 9.0 earthquake dealt Japan a terrible blow. The earthquake occurred about 40 miles off the eastern Japanese coast, and the Tohoku region bore the brunt of the deadly tsunami that followed. The Japanese Prime Minister stated that this was the worst thing to happen to Japan since the end of the Second World War. People from all over the world lent their support and prayers to Japan, and the Japanese themselves did whatever they could to help the people in the hardest hit areas. The Cheerful Japan series of Vocaloid figurines was created by Krypton Future Media as a way to donate funds to disaster relief organizations working in the region. And after a fundraising event, AH Software began working on a voice roid dedicated to the region and its people. Released September 2012, Tohoku Zunko is the most recently released voice roid, and her voice is provided by one Miss Satomi Sato. The voice actress for the character Ritsu from the popular anime k a o n Zunko's design and name are taken from Zunda Mochi, a specialty of the Tohoku region. It's a rice cake mixed with a sweetened green paste made from soybeans. Her bio explains that she is 17 years old, she loves archery and making rice cakes, and that she dreams one day of opening a cafe in Tokyo. As you can see, Zunko's software is the most complex voice r o i d program to date. She allows for much more control over her pronunciation compared to previous voice r o i d s and pauses can be entered directly into the tuning screen. She also has X voice support, which gives her additional sound samples, although these seem to be targeted at the Tohoku region, with specific X voice samples being place names, for example. Additionally, AH Software allows businesses within the Tohoku region to use Zunko's voice and likeness in their advertisements. Konnichiwa, Tohoku Zunko des. Kyo wa, watashi no tanjoubi kinen toyu koto de, samozama na enshou ni kigae sase te kureru so des. Itsmo to wa hito a ji tsigao, Zunko no sugata o tanashimi kudasai. ジャージに着替えてみました。どうでしょう似合いますか次はとある高校の制服を着てみました。私も軽音部に入れるでしょうか今度は打って変わってコスプレみたいな、アニメの軍服姿です。最初は、とある連邦の制服を着てみますネプタ祭り津軽花巻祭愛津若松市柴田郡村民祭東松島市米沢市なんだっちゃ And that is all of the voice banks released so far. Yes, there are only six voice roids. Like I said, the voice roids are not nearly as popular as the Vocaloids, and it's understandable. Unlike the Vocaloid software, which is licensed from Yamaha, the voice roid software belongs to AH Software. This means that if Krypton, for example, wanted to give Miku a voice roid voice bank, they would have to pay licensing fees to AH Software, who is technically their competition. To my knowledge, the Vocaloid business is a bit kinder than most. There is competition, but it's rather friendly. The companies will talk to each other and share notes, so to speak, to improve the technology and the art of voice synthesis. But make no mistake, business is business. 
and unless AH Software can convince other Vocaloid companies to take advantage of the VoiceRoid technology, it will probably remain fairly marginal within the Vocaloid fandom. But, you know, constantly comparing the VoiceRoids to the Vocaloids isn't necessarily fair. Singing and speaking don't just sound different, we use them for different reasons. So perhaps what the VoiceRoids need to do is to carve their own path in areas that the Vocaloids can't compete with them. And, in a way, they already have. Because the VoiceRoids, especially Yukari and Zunko, sound rather realistic, and because the VoiceRoid software is as simple to use as typing out sentences, many Japanese people have used them for narrating their videos online. If you search for VoiceRoid videos on Nico Nico, you'll find a lot of videos labeled with various game titles, especially Western developed games such as GTA, Dead Space, Call of Duty, and so on, where the VoiceRoids are basically used to narrate game footage or provide commentary on replays. But by far, the most popular of the VoiceRoid videos are for Minecraft. The VoiceRoids are sometimes used to narrate these as well, such as this video where Maki is explaining a mod for the game called Slime Food. Mmm, doesn't that sound good? But the voice roids are also used to flesh out stories within Minecraft, using multiple voice roid characters and even other voice synthesizers or Utao voice banks. Sometimes these are stories based on regular Minecraft gameplay, such as having the characters fight a boss monster together, or explore the wilderness and just talk about what they see and what's going on. But sometimes people will take advantage of the iconic Minecraft graphical style and act out scenes, like this video of various characters going on a picnic. <laughs> ふう、美味しいね。はい、まあ美味しいですね。砂糖たっぷりのコーチャも入れたから、良かったら飲んでみてね。はい。甘いもの尽くしだね。いいことじゃない。いくらでも食べられるもの。美味しかったね。ケー
But what's interesting is the group of models included with the program. Yukari and Maki are there, as well as Maki's bandmates and some other characters I'm not familiar with. But the program also includes Gumi models. Gumi is the only other Vocaloid included, so that makes me a little optimistic that AH Software and Internet Co. are buddies, and that perhaps one day we'll have some Internet Co. voice roids. Well now, joined me everybody, say it to with me, at one one, at a two at a. Desu 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 desu